morning. I'm Daniela Byrne, and I'm here with you all this morning in honor of, ver of a very special young man. Living in the state of Texas, we are bombarded with the stereotype that we are all cowboys and ride horses and rope cows. Well, the reality of this situation is that most of us, like myself, are total city kids. And it takes a rare and very special type of person to call themselves a true cowboy. A cowboy lives by honor, discipline, and determination. All these qualities explain the young man we are here to celebrate today. We are honoring Isaac Cardona. Isaac Cardona is Eagle Pass High School's truest cowboy and deserves a big round of applause because today... <laughs> Because today, we join Isaac as he is about to sign his letter of intent to Southwest Texas Junior College in Uvalde, Texas. Once at SWTJC, Isaac will be a part of the illustrious few that call themselves members of the National Intercollegiate Rodeo Association. A few of the accomplishments that helped Isaac receive this award were that for the past three years, he was a te competitive team roper with the Texas High School Rodeo Association, Region 8 in Sinton, Texas. And we should all be proud to know that he has represented Eagle Pass High School at state for the past three years, and next week, he will be traveling to Abilene, Texas to compete for a fourth and final time. Besides being a successful member of EPHS's rodeo team, Isaac is an active member in the Eagle Pass chapters of FFA and 4-H, as well as a part of the Mighty Eagle baseball team. Isaac... <laughs> Isaac credits his family, friends, and teachers for helping him to get to this moment in his life. And for that, we should all give Isaac another round of applause for this accomplishment. <laughs> At this time, I would like to call up one of Isaac's favorite mentors and coach, Mr. Reynold Mendoza, to come up and say a few words about our cowboy. <laughs> Well, these things like this don't happen unless you work hard for them. And uh, Isaac has been working hard. I know he did. A, he's uh, he's been a part of the baseball team for four years, and every year he has to go to FFA events and miss practicing and some of the games. But it's for a good cause, and, and we support him. We've always supported him since the beginning, and uh, with everything that he's done, you know, both on the field and and in the arena, I guess. Um, you know, it's a proud moment for for it, for any of us here, and it's uh, and, as, and Isaac has definitely set the example. So congratulations and good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. At this time, I would like to call up a representative from Eagle Pass High School, Head Counselor Mr. Luis C. Fuentes, and Counselor Monin Trevino to come up and say a couple words. <laughs> I do want to take this opportunity on behalf of all of Eagle Pass High School to congratulate Isaac once again. Um, you know, we have great students here at Eagle Pass High School, and Isaac is just another example of the great students we have. And, and there's no doubt in my mind that Isaac's going to continue to do great things, not only in the rodeo arena, but also in the academically. So we want to wish Isaac all the best in the world, future success in rodeo and academics, and we want to congratulate the parents because we know that the parents, they're behind the scenes, but they do a lot of work. They sacrifice a lot of time, they sacrifice a lot of energy, and of course money to make a lot of these things happen. Uh, I also want to congratulate the grandparents who are here, Mr. and Mrs. Cardona, who no doubt have been a big influence in their lives also, and his brother, who's so over there, who started off not too many years ago, also doing similar things. So it, it seems like a family tradition, and it, it's beautiful to see this, because like Danielle said, you know, yeah, we're in a rural community. You know, you think, oh, there's just a bunch of cowboys out there, but there's not. There's far and few in between. And uh, it's always amazing that we have 
so many students like Isaac participating in the in the rodeo events uh, and and it's happening more and more so it's a great thing to see along with other activities and he's not limiting himself to that he he's in baseball and and that's awesome so the more you get involved the better it is and that's why we have the great students we have here so once again congratulations Isaac and God God bless you I've known Isaac since he was very young, so I could go on and on, but I'm going to say two words like Daniela suggested, and that's good luck. <laughs> yeah, he's going to need that pen here in a little while. <laughs> Up next, representing EPHS administration, we have Assistant Principal Olivia Garcia. on behalf of EPHS administration and our staff and students as well I'd like to congratulate Isaac this is a great honor to be here and congratulating you on, the, on his future endeavors I wish you the best and may God bless you Life, we always have people that no matter what we do or what we accomplish and may even fail at will be able to be there for us. For Isaac Cardona, those people just happen to be his parents, Saul and Hopi. It is at this time I invite Isaac's number one supporters to come up and share a few words of wisdom and love. And I know they probably have a lot of words. <laughs> so, Saul Hopi, would you like to come up and say something to your son? <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> well, um, Isaac, we're very, very proud of you, son. Um, I'm, I'm going to keep it short because I'm not very <laughs> good with, you know. I'm just very proud of you and continue making us proud. And we love you and uh, you can do this. Thank you. Well, the time has come. It is about time for Isaac to sign this paper. So at this time, I would like to invite his grandparents, his brother and sister to come up and join him at this very special moment in his life. Big round of applause for our official SWTJC Roper. So, oh, not yet. so um, before we start taking some pictures, and I know you're probably going to hate me for this, Isaac, but I feel like you need to tell all your fans a couple words right now. <laughs> I think it needs to be done. <laughs> uh, I just want to thank my parents for always hauling me to rodeos, my dad going without sleep, my brother, uh, when I don't have money, he'd help me go. All my friends have been behind me, the baseball team. Um, I just want to thank all of you. It's, it's a blessing. Thank you. So, before we have our closing remarks by, you know, your, fa your favorite admin who loves to be the one, the closer. <laughs> um, at this time, would there like to be anyone who'd like to come and say a few words about Isaac? Want to be one of his teammates, his brother, anyone? I say Colin. Colin? <laughs> well, okay, so at this time, I would like to call up my brother, Colin Bird, and Isaac's best friend to say a few words. <laughs> It's going to be on TV, so keep it approaching. Well, man, Bongas have been up and down the road. He's always been there for me. His family's always been there for me. And I know that he will make it in this world. 
in the rodeo world and in real life. He's just that type of person that's always going to keep on going and keep on going, and he's going to get it done. I believe in you, Bongas. <laughs> Thank you. And I feel it's only fitting for our closing remarks to be by Eagle Pass High School Assistant Principal, Mr. John Byrne. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. On behalf of John Cox, campus principal, welcome. This is an outstanding event. We do these every year. We have kids going to play baseball, softball. We just had one the other day for softball. Doesn't matter what sport, what activity it is. If you get somebody to pay for your education, go for it. Take the money and run. <laughs> That's amazing. I've watched Isaac five years now with a rope in his hand. My son bull rides. It's the most boring Saturdays I deal with. <laughs> I was born in New York. I bought, was brought up with concrete, not animals. But what these guys do and what kids around this state do, bull riding and roping and all that stuff, it's amazing. And look what it did for this guy over here. He doesn't have to pay for college now. All you guys that play baseball, except for you young ones, keep working hard. Keep doing what you got to do because there's guys in your program that are going on to play somewhere. You got coach back there, he played professionally. He knows how to get you where you need to go. Take advantage of all that stuff. All you guys, academically, do what you need to do. Isaac's just not going because he can throw a rope around a cow's head. He's going because he can read and write and do his work. All right? <laughs> there's things Isaac has done, and congratulations. Now, we heard all these great things about Isaac. I know all the other stuff, but I can't tell you. <laughs> I can't tell you those. I can't tell those stories because we're on TV. But I got the picture, so I know. All right? Hope you, soul, congratulations. But to have two kids in your family to get their college paid for for the amount of time that you've invested in rodeo, the two of you driving around like Isaac said, it's amazing. Hi, right, chill. Isaac, just go ahead and do your job next year now. You go there, you go have fun on your horse, and make sure you get up and go to class. <laughs> All right? We thank everybody for coming. It's another good day for Eagle Pass High School. Congratulations, Hopi, Soul, Isaac. Thank you. At this time, I would like to thank everyone for coming. And on a personal note, I would just like to say congratulations, Isaac. And I really want to thank you for being my brother's friend and being one of the truest role models he has in his life. And oh, I'm going to get emotional, but I'm not because I'm on camera. So at this time, I would like to call up his baseball team to come take a few pictures and any of his friends who'd like to stay and have a nice photo shoot. At this time, we're just going to give one final round of applause for Isaac Cardona. Thank you.